Hi guys, and hello from the hilltop. I'm Waxa Haji Blue, and I want to welcome you to my channel, The Plateau Perfectionist. Today's video is my May 2023 plan with me in my Archer and Olive 160 GSM dot journal. Uh, the colors that I will be using for this particular month is a light colored brown, which is part of the Zebra Mod Liner Neutral Pack. And then I also swapped out, um, for the past few months I've been using a black Le Pen. Uh, this time I decided to go with the Sharpie Pen and the Fine Point Tip. It's almost exactly the same, but I noticed with my light beige brown from last month I was having a little bit of an issue with smearing, so I wanted to try uh, doing this particular color. So for the month of May, I did decide to do flowers, but I decided to do it with a bit of a twist and use my left hand to draw. I am not a lefty, I am a righty, although there are certain things that I can do uh, ambidextrously. Drawing is not one of those things. So this actually took quite a bit of effort. Um, with, I'll let you know, I'll let you in a little secret with the power of editing. I have this sped up quite a bit. Well, it's, it's pretty much double time and so even then you can see that I'm kind of going slowly and trying to take my time because this was a lot harder than it looks. I wanted to have the flowers be more of a, a squiggle aesthetic. They didn't have to be perfect, which duh, because I'm doing it with my left hand. And I will wholeheartedly admit this particular big flower I think turned out ugly and I, then I ended up making it even worse. So I did find a bit of a creative way to fix it. I wanted to also include an outline, hence where the, the Sharpie pen comes from. And, but uh, bear with me here, it does eventually get a little better. So as you can see, I totally butchered that particular flower. I turned it into a giant brown blob. So I ended up taking some of these craft sticky notes that I have. I bought them off of Amazon or somewhere. They were It was a pack of five. They were super cheap. And I tried a couple of different designs on a flower that I could paste over the giant blob flower. Um, I forget if this was the one that I actually liked. I ended up doing two. And I think this was the better of the two. And basically, I just did the Sharpie pen because it was easier, easier to get the outline done. I cut it out with my scissors, taped it, and then once I had it pasted down on the 
paper I took the zebra mod liner and went over it like I said it didn't have to be perfect but I definitely think adding the brown outline as well as the sharpie pen outline worked a lot better I did actually use this um, I continued with the craft paper uh, theme part of it you know using the craft paper on my two page calendar which I think gave it just a smidge of a pop of color without it being uh, overbearing I did realize however after I was done getting these flowers on the page that I didn't make enough room to put my uh, mini calendar in the place that I usually do so I ended up kind of putting it slightly to the left so it all it all flows and it all works just fine and I have my mini calendar on there which I personally find a great help but yeah it it, it all worked out in the end this was the only flowers that I did on the on the title page So I'm going to call myself out a little bit on this particular sticker. It is not a fully capitalized version like I've been using for the other months. Like I said, these stickers are, pretty, are a little old. I've used them in previous projects, so apparently I used the fully capitalized version of May on another project, so this is the only one that I had. Um, I still think it looks fine, and I don't think it's going to hurt anything, and prob you probably wouldn't have even noticed if I hadn't said anything, but it is what it is. Um... I also appreciate that the month of May starts on a Monday, so everything looked a lot more uniform when I did this particular two-page calendar spread. There is a note section at the bottom. Um, this is a similar setup to what I've been doing in the past, and I did include some flowers in the bottom right-hand corner, which you will see later, including a couple of small craft paper flowers, all done with, uh, like I said, the, all the lines and things are done with my right hand, because I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not that brave. Um, but all of the flowers and things are done with my left hand, which was very fun and new for me. So as you can see, I did several attempts on these flowers. I wanted to make them small because this calendar is very large, and some of them turned out a lot better than others. I did an X out on ones that I didn't particularly like, so I, I ended up doing at least a couple here that I did decide to include into the adopt journal. 
Also, if you didn't catch it, I do apologize. It was a little on the small side. Um, my birthday is on the 9th, and I will be 35. So now you know how I'm an older, older version of a bullet journaler here, but don't hold it against me. Um, yeah. And the, fun, the additional fun fact, I have a meeting on that particular day that is unavoidable. And when I asked if there would be cake, um, they, my uh, counsel said, Sure, sure, you can get cake, but get ice cream too. So it means I have to buy my own cake. I know he was joking, but still. Thanks, Bear. So here's just a couple of the little flowers that I did end up putting in here. Uh, nothing horribly fancy schmancy, but it, I think it did alright. And well, there you go. There's the whole two-page spread. Oh, and of course, you know, adding just a little bit of brown. Because I do think that, that brown, chef's kiss on that, looks great. Okay, budget journal. You've seen me do this one a gazillion times and still works just fine. I do a rolling total budget system. I have some columns here that are the date, description, amount, and then the various uh, groups and columns, banks, cards, whatever you want to say. Um, that is what I, I do a rolling total system on. Um, and yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, just some lines and it's the same thing I do every every time. This particular spread takes me maybe five minutes on actual time speed, but I wanna I do speed it up for for viewing purposes. Alright, on to the weeklies. Uh, you've seen me do these before. I always have the habit tracker on the left and then on the right page is the weight tracker. I track about five habits uh, monthly. I like to have them on either side of my weeklies just because having them on a separate page just doesn't physically work for me. Uh, I, I found that if I set it up this way, I always have just enough uh, spaces to to have my entire month here and I do additional lines just to mark out the weekends because my brain just needs to know where those are. Also since the month of May starts on a Monday uh, all of my all of my column or all of my weeklies here fit just right so yay! <laughs> I have changed up very slightly on what I do when setting up my weeklies, uh, inspired by someone who was inspired by me. Uh, a very nice lady on Instagram sent me a, a reel where she had set up her March bullet journal based off of my theme. And she did boxes on her weeklies instead of just lines. I do lines because I'm lazy and I didn't even think of doing boxes. But after watching what she did, I liked her boxes better. So that's what I did. As for on the top, I will be doing some additional flowers. And I, I did cut just a little bit because you don't need, me, don't need to see me making the same thing twice. So you'll only see me drawing the flowers on week one and week two. But it did go through and do week four and... Uh, three and four, so when I do the final flip through, you will see those. Um, I kind of like how they kind of partially fall off the pages. It reminds me very of like um, Hawaiian hibiscus. I know they don't come in brown, but that's what they kind of are almost inspired by these great big petals. Um, so yeah, they're just keep it simple, and that that's all it is. Now, I do apologize for this video being slightly late. I have been busier than a one on paper hanger because this is my busy season, and I will try to make sure that June's is out in a more timely fashion, but uh, thank you for bearing with me. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy watching the rest of this video. If you liked it, please uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up, uh, comment, uh, subscribe if you want some, some more content. I try to do at least one video a month. Uh, with a full-time job and additional things on my plate, I just don't have the time to do more than that. Um, 
But in the meantime, uh, I hope you enjoy. Find me on Instagram or Facebook at the Plateau Professional uh, Plateau Perfectionist, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next month. Bye.